G'day guys, this is uh, Peter from my Bonzi channel and today I thought I'd do a quick review of Laughing Bird software, the Creator 7. I've had this for a number of years now and I uh, think it's a really great uh, graphic software. I use it for designing my logo for some of my sites. Uh, you can see my logo there for the Easy Esports Betting site. And you can also see the banner, which I used uh, the Creator 7 to design. Um, I also believe that images are important when it comes to SEO for blogging. So rather than pilfering images off the internet and getting in trouble with copyrights, and etc., I create all my own images. And uh, this is one of them. So I've actually created a template and I use it every week. I just change uh, the round the image, the background, just to make it a little bit different. Uh, this is my main blog, What's Up blog. I also used Creator 7 to create uh, the banner on this one. And that's my latest post and I uh, use it to do that little educational games to play with your kids image. And then there's my Get Online Lottery site again. The Creator 7 came in handy for creating uh, the banner for this one as well. But anyway, enough of that. Just so you, can, you see what the, how easy it is, and I think that's the main selling point for the Creator 7, is the ease of use. What you're looking at now is the templates that I've designed using this software. Uh, there's that one there that you saw in my easy esports betting site and it's so easy like if I want to change it for next year just click on that edit you know it'll be round six implement that's it to change I can import whatever image I want into there okay just say for example if I wanted to put that one in I just drag it in and there it is it's done right just to show you some of the other templates and how easy it is to use um, my people pack template which I've also purchased and say for example we wanted to adjust this one we wanted to make it a little bit different we could drag a background image in there um, if you don't like that one let's try a different one so get rid of that we could put say this one in there just make it bigger Image format is what I want. Okay, we send it to the back. Change the color of the fonts so that they stand out. I reckon yellow might be a good one. Okay, so if we copy that, you can make the rest of the font exactly the same. So paste the code in there. Do the same for all your fonts and finally and instead of being search I'll just change that so we turn the text so edit I'll make that SEO instead just make that a little bit bigger It stands out and if you want to um, make that look like 3d you would just duplicate the element you would change the color whatever color you want make it a bit sort of darker send it to the back and bring the other one forward And give that one at the back another outline say so you go to outline turn that on make it darker you can even give the front one an outline turn that on make that darker and you, as you can see it just looks that much better so you do that the rest of your fonts and uh, you're laughing so just another example, we'll go to another template. OK, 
Okay, try this one. All right, so what we'll do is we'll drag all the fonts down, all the words. Okay, we just make format the canvas, so we'll shrink the width. Once again, we'll put a background on there. So, say for example, we pick, uh, let's do this one. Okay, send that to the back. Once again, you change the color of the fonts. And you can use whatever image you want. It's really very, very easy and handy to use. And then that's it, that one's done. Um, you can, it'll save it automatically when you get out. You just gotta give it a name and it goes into your templates with whatever file name you've given it. Um, one last thing I'd like to show you is the mock-up templates. I reckon this is fantastic. I love this one. I haven't only purchased this the other day, but just say for example, we want to do some mock-ups, we'll pick those. We'll drag some images in there. And there's one that I designed the other day, similar to the one that I showed you before. Got to select that first. And we'll drag that in there. And We can drag which one. It's got to be the same sort of shape, right? If I tried to drag, say for example, there, first we have to select it. If I try to drag that in there, it will shrink it to fit there, but it's going to be all out of shape. So it just doesn't look right. So you design it so it's almost the same sort of size. Then you drag it in. And there you go. So it's that easy to use. I love the software. I have to tell the truth, and I'm an actual affiliate uh, of the Laughing Bird. But as those people who know me will tell you, unless I really like the product that I use, I won't become an affiliate, and I will not promote it. So uh, once again, if uh, anything that you want to know, just leave a comment below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always looking for extra subscribers. And love you guys. Hope to catch you next time. It's Peter from my Bonza channel signing off. Catch you later, guys.